Harrison, Mike uh, Zimmer, after the game, was talking about um, Cam Dantzler and, and some of his growth, especially since he's come back from his injury. A couple big plays from him yesterday. Just that, what, what can you kind of tell us about the way that he's come along uh, from your experience working with him? Yeah, he um, he showed up in uh, camp and was making he was making plays pretty early, and you know I think getting into the games. Um, Facing some 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 good quarterbacks early, some tough competition, um, allowed him to to learn a lot, and he's starting to put it to use and uh, playing decisively and making plays on the ball. Harry, Mike Zimmer said after yesterday's game that you know even though you guys won and you won the last two games, you guys have a lot of things to clean up, and he said that it wasn't a lot of hooting and hollering in the locker room after these last games. What do you guys kind of do need to do to kind of clean things up and play better? Um, uh, just that. Um, stop making big errors. Uh, you know, we'll put together some some good quarters and, you know, we'll start the game. Like, we started the game by giving up an easy touchdown on defense and then started the third quarter by giving them a touchdown. So, you know, big big things like that. Um, um, so it's really limiting explosive plays and taking care of the ball on offense and, playing solid on special teams um and that's how that's how we win ball games and we've we've kind of gotten away with with a few of the last few weeks and but at the same time a win in the nfl is a win in the nfl like it, it's hard to get wins every you know week in week out so when you can get a win you're not you're definitely not going to be down about it <laughs> um but but you have to be realistic and understand that it's going to be hard to beat some some teams um, making big mistakes like we have. Do you think a game like Tampa this Sunday can really help in that regard? Because you guys know that, you know, you can't play like you have been to get a win down there most likely. Yeah, for the most part, it's, it's uh, you know, you're not going to get a win uh, playing against a team like like the Bucks, uh with, with some big catastrophic mistakes. So uh, just got to play tighter. Harrison, victories like that can also be mentally exhausting as well as physically exhausting. Do you just kind of wipe the slate clean? And like you said, a win in the NFL is hard and that energizes. I know this is probably a question more for the younger guys, but. Um, it, you know, it, it'd be nice to have a few games where you don't, it doesn't always go down to the wire. It's just, you know, because it does, it, it does tax you over time. That's, that's just human nature. It's reality. Um. But that's that's you know that's where we are, and we have a bunch of guys that that love to play and love to fight. So um, it, it is what it is. Um, but um, you you know you definitely conscious of getting your body ready for the next week, getting your mental preparation ready for the next week, because um, you can't like dwell on anything, win or loss. Um, you just got to be ready to keep moving forward. It's actually the same for all of us on deadline. Um, so you're not alone in that, right? Um, when you're when you look back, I know that you still have four games left here, but when you, I guess, eventually surmise the 2020 season, how will you look and define the rookie movement that took place this year? Because I don't, I don't know. Have you ever played with this many rookies before? And just kind of how what that process is like for a veteran, you know, being a part of that. That's a lot. That's like a loaded question. Um, it's a good question. I just, I don't know if I can answer it um, until the season's done with, but, you know, I think you, you're definitely right. We have had a lot of rookies have reps, uh, especially on defense in the back end, um, <clears throat> probably more than I've ever seen. And a lot of guys have like you, you I've been able to see guys like grow throughout the weeks. Um, and then at the same time being, a veteran and having another veteran safety and ant, um, you know, kind of expected to be the guys that not only can make plays, but can help the young guys along and um, the growing pains that can come along with that. And also like the chemistry you build by going through those things. Um, so there's, uh, yeah, there's a lot to it. Um, we're, we're definitely not done yet, but I think, um, I think every, not just the rookies, but all the guys, all the, you know, we just call everybody young, I guess. That's a corner, I guess, on our team. Um, but they've all they've all made really good plays and they've played they've played at a high level. And then we have spurts where 
we miss we you know mess something up on the back end it's not always them it could be me it could be anybody um and we have to eliminate those things to really start playing like the viking defense that people are accustomed to Harrison, what has Durante Jones been like as a teacher of this young group as you have so many guys that are trying to get used to things on a, on a short time frame? Yeah, he's been earning his money this year. Um, he, um, he does a really good job of communicating exactly what we need to get done and things that we can expect while also not kind of overloading the group with things that can kind of bog you down because there's kind of a, there can be a balance there based on, you know, just experience levels. Um, so he's, he's just, he's been doing a great job of like starting at the fundamentals and expanding from there and um, giving us enough information to grow um, without kind of handicapping us, I guess. It's, you mentioned the, the balance. Yeah. You mentioned the balance there, and it's sort of I, I think I've heard you talk about it over the years of trying to figure out what to retain and what not to take with you onto the field on game day. How much does a coach help kind of find that balance for young players? Uh it's it it's a really big deal. Um and I don't think it's something that as a fan that you're obviously not gonna appreciate it because you you just don't see that side of it. You see game day. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a really big deal in, um, in, especially in young players development, like how you initially learn the game and who is around you and who are your examples and stuff like that. So, um, I think he's been doing a heck of a job and, um, you know, Roy Anderson as well and Dom Capers in the room, but Durante is, uh, he's definitely got a good pulse on the room and he's. You know, we're not done. Like I said, we got a lot of work to do, but he's he's progressed all of us a lot uh, in a short amount of time. Harrison, I know it's spaced out over a number of years, but you're one of the few guys on the defense that's gone multiple times against Tom Brady. I mean, what's it like facing Tom Brady? Um, he's uh, he's prepared. He knows uh, he knows what your looks are. He knows. Um, how to set his protections, how to get him in the right plays. Um, he's very, very quick with his uh, his reads and his decision making. Um, you know, I haven't really watched him in Tampa outside of on TV, so I'm about to start watching that. Um, but he's always he he knows he just knows everything that's going on on the field. He knows everything his line is doing, everything his receivers need to do, is, is where his backs need to go, where they need to block, what the defense is doing, what the coverage is doing. Um, and I think that I don't need to say any of that. I think everyone knows who Tom Brady is, and um, why he is who he is. Hey Eric, or uh, hey Harris, of losing Eric Kendricks just before the game. How'd you guys handle that? And then just kind of what was it like for Eric to kind of have to go through that, having not missed a lot of time in his career? Yeah, you know, it was, it's the NFL, it's 2020, it's everything's, you know, you just kind of roll with whatever's happened. Um, and un uh, unfortunately, you know, he, he couldn't go and that was, was, was the right move. Um, I know it hurt him, like he, he wants to be out there every snap. So <clears throat> uh, he was definitely hurt, but he was, he was on the sideline encouraging us, trying to get things right, trying to see you know talk to us if he saw anything and um you know i think todd davis stepping in that's a that's a tough spot to be in and he stepped in and played great um eric wilson did some things he's not always doing so he played great troy die like so um you know we got guys that can play it's obviously you obviously want eric kendricks on the field um but guys stepped in when their number was called and you know i think i think you gotta give those guys a lot of credit how important to you guys was the sequence after the fumble near the, the goal line? You wound up coming away with a safety. What what did Fai do well on that play to get the get the safety? Um I can't exactly remember. I think they ran the ball twice. Uh, Ant had a good tackle. I think Jeff had a good tackle and then Ant had a good tackle on first and second down. And then third down, 
Fadi had a great left hand on the sternum of the of the tackle and uh, really got some pushback there. Um, that's the fun stuff to watch on film afterwards because you don't see that, you know, during the play. But seeing what every other guy is doing that contributes to success. And then, you know, I think you gain an appreciation of what guys uh, contribute and uh, just adds more and more confidence. Harrison, is there um, any difference in terms of how Mike Zimmer is developing these current crop of young players versus when he first got here, when you were a fairly young player and then you saw, you know, Trey and Xavier come in and how those guys were developed. Is there any difference now? Um, I mean, I guess um, not a ton though, honestly, but uh, you know, I think the difference is like, when Xavier was coming in, like he was kind of, he was the young guy. And then when, and then when Trey got here, Trey was the young guy where now it's like every guy's the young guy. It's kind of how it is. Um, which not really like it's trending towards like guys are getting reps. Guys are, guys are playing. Um, so I think it's just, it's just more of like a broad sense, but as far as teaching guys, uh, techniques and stuff like that, no, he's, uh, you know, Zim's had a lot of success with a lot of corners through a lot of different eras. Um, so he tends to figure it out and he knows how to relay it to his young guys. And then were there Thanks, any Harrison? were there any details on film that, that really resulted in your interception? Um you know that I think you could point there to um, Chris Boyd uh, played that route well, um, which allowed me to, you know, not feel much stress. Um, so I think when, when everybody does their job, it makes like everybody's job that much, you know, you know not easy, but it, it it doesn't make it quite as hard. Um, so when you're clicking like that, that's when big plays start start coming around. Um, so it's, ne it's never an individual effort. It's always, um, the whole group, um, playing off one another. 